Hey y'all, welcome to Alley Cat Customs. So if you're trying to squeeze as much horsepower as you can out of your race car, being able to collect as much data as possible will allow you to make a more effective tuning, tuning adjustments so you can apply all the power to the ground. So today we are installing a drive shaft speed sensor from Motion Raceworks so James can get all the horsepower he can out of this bad little car. Uh, so we're gonna take you step by step as we install this, this kit. Uh, so y'all stick around. All right, so as you can see, James has already installed his speed sensor on his rear end, uh, but I want to take you step, step by step through the process. Uh, so the first step is to actually clean the, the pinion yoke off. He had a lot of uh, dirt and grime on his. So he used a uh, wire brush and got it cleaned up real nice. Once he got his pinion yoke cleaned off, uh, the next step was to install the uh, uh, actual tone ring. So once you get it uh, bolted on and, and start to tighten it up, the biggest thing is to make sure that the gap is the same on both sides of the ring. Um, it, there will be a gap because the way that the ring was actually designed, they, they machined it as a whole ring and then cut it. So when you go to bolt it on, there will be a gap. Just make sure that the gap is the same on both sides and that'll, that'll uh, make sure that it'll get a, get a good signal on the sensor once you put it together. So once James got his uh, tone ring installed, uh, he actually went, um, he'd actually uh, built a wiring harness for his sensor uh, and it was already terminated uh, for the plug-in for the, for the computer on his car. So he ran his wire from the computer um, out, out the firewall and down under the car, routed it under, under the car to where he can get to his rear end. And that way he could, once he got the sensor installed, he could just uh, uh, put a plug-in on the uh, back side back here to, con to join the wires up. So he, once he got that done, then it was time to uh, actually install the sensor. After he installed the L bracket on his pinion, pinion bearing support, uh, the next thing was to actually install the sensor. And the sensor comes with uh, two nuts that uh, clamp the sensor into the L bracket. So he put the first, uh, the first nut on the, on the sensor and then ran it through the L bracket. Once he got the second jam nut installed on the um, sensor and had it captured, captured on the L bracket, he used a set of filler gauges. Uh, most race works wants you to be around 50 thousandths of a gap between the sensor and the tone ring. So we, we uh, did some work on it, got it, uh, got the gap down to uh, right at 50 thousandths. So we're gonna try that right there and see how, see how it works on the computer. But once we have all that done and you have the, uh, ink, uh, the, the gap set on your sensor, it's time to go up top and uh, check the computer out and get the sen sensor, all the parameters and stuff done on the sensor. So uh, we'll see you top side and let James do that kind of talking because all that computer work, that's, that's more his speed. All right, so we got everything hooked up in the car, and now we've got to go in to the Holly software and actually configure it to where the drive shaft speed sensor will work. So uh, come around here and uh, we'll get that going. All right, so we go into our Terminator X stuff, open my most recent file, James Tune 5. Then we're gonna go to uh, inputs and outputs right here. And so then uh, you're going to put in, you know, drive shaft sensor. And now for me, I'm running the uh, CAN IO module. So mine will actually be CAN digital speed frequency down here. So I would go there. And then once we get that where it needs to be, we're going to come over here and we're going to configure it. So um, you can go in and put all your minimum sensor maxes, minimums, all that stuff. So from there, we're going to come out here, pulses to average uh, one. Uh, for, for this uh, motion race work uh, sensor, it's, uh, there's 16 prongs on there. So we're gonna put our pulses to 16. Gear ratio for my car, it's a 411. So we got our 411 there. Tire diameter, 28 inch. All right, so we've got all that set up. Then we're gonna go to CAN settings. All right, so for CAN ID 1541, now on that, with, with the CAN IO module, every single module has a different number. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that module around the back, it should have a four digit uh, number on there, and you're just gonna enter that uh, right here. 
So, and then the last thing is gonna be your broadcast rate. So for me, I'm doing 50 Hertz. And basically what the broadcast rate actually is, is it's how fast that information is actually sent. So for something like triggering a fan, it, you know, one or two Hertz is, is just fine because it's just cutting that fan on and then cutting it off whenever. But whereas for like a drive shaft speed sensor, we want that data to travel, you know, quick. We want to send that data quickly. So for there, 50, 60 Hertz somewhere in those, in that uh, range there will be what you want it to. So uh, we got all that in there. So now let's go to the car and plug it up and we'll uh, get that information to Holly and uh, see if we can make a drive shaft speed sensor work. So let's get to it. All right, so we've got the laptop plugged up to the car. And so now I need to quickly show you how to actually set this, uh, set it up to where you can actually view drive shaft speed sensor. So um, in our data log here, we're gonna come over here. So toggle gauge panel right there, click on that. And that's gonna show us all of our gauges. And then um, I've already got mine set up here, but you're just gonna go down here to one of these boxes, take your pick. I just put mine on sensors, hit uh, this E button right here. And then it's going to give you the option to put whatever you want in here. So all you're going to do is, you know, you've got your drive shaft speed sensor set up and your inputs and outputs. So then we've got to locate it. So mine is going to be right back over here. I've already got mine checked. So it's there and it's, you know, up here in sensors. So we got that there. So then we're going to close out. The car is on. And if you scroll down here on your sensors, there she is right there. Drive shaft sensor. So now we're going to spin this rear tire and see if we can actually make it read something. And it is being spun right now. And you see, we got a whopping two miles per hour. <laughs> so we, uh, there's one there. So that we know it works. The next step would be to take the car out, uh, you know, loop around the neighborhood or whatnot uh, safely. And then uh, what I like to do is I'll take like my phone and just, just take you a GPS app and just uh, safely drive around the block and just kind of verify with, with this data here compared to your GPS and just make sure that it's where it needs to be. Um, one thing I found, as long as you put the correct information in, as far as your tire size, uh, uh, rear gear, stuff like that, it should be pretty close. Um, fortunately, there actually is an offset option, so you could actually go in and offset it, you know, if it's off by one or two mile an hour, you can, you can make those adjustments there. So we now know that everything works, and I'm ready to uh, take this Trans Am out and uh, take it to the track and uh, go make some passes. All right, so I know James is really excited to get this car off the lift and uh, get it to the dyno. So uh, just about wraps this video up. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope you find, found that helpful. And if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow the page. And uh, make sure you leave comments. I, I enjoy reading the comments. I enjoy uh, helping out when I can, or just enjoy the conversation. And uh, so I, I, know, I know you're chomping at the bit. So uh, let's get on out of here, and uh, we'll see y'all at the, at the dyno or at the track next time. So uh, y'all keep on coming back here to Alley Cat Customs.